People are being warned to brace themselves for floods on England's coasts and rivers. The Environment Agency said the risk of coastal flooding could last throughout the weekend and into next week. There are currently almost 100 flood warnings, indicating flooding is expected, in England and Wales, with about 20 in Scotland. The search for a teenager in Devon who has been missing since Thursday has been called off for a second night. Harry Martin, 18, from Memberland, Newton Ferrers has not been seen since he left home to take photographs of stormy seas. Saturated ground. The Environment Agency said parts of England's northeast coast could see flooding later while the south coast, including Portsmouth and New Haven, is being warned to expect coastal floods over the next two days. The risk of flooding to the coast will continue over the next few days, especially on the south and west coast and along the Severn estuary. Jonathan Day from the agency said. In addition, wet conditions have left the ground saturated in many areas, increasing the risk of river and surface water flooding. There are no severe flood warnings, indicating danger to life, in place across the UK. But there are more than 250 flood alerts, meaning flooding is possible, be prepared, in place in England and Wales. In addition to the 100 or so flood warnings, there is an increased risk of flooding risk to Weybridge and Guildford on Sunday and into Monday and people living along the non-tidal Thames, including Oxford and Osney, could be at risk from Sunday. There are also a number of flood warnings in place in Scotland, but no severe flood warnings. Frozen roads. The Met Office is predicting heavy rain and ice, with severe ice warnings issued for North Wales. Scotland and northwest England and warnings of travel disruption as stretches of road freeze overnight. And forecasters also warned of heavy rain in southern England, southeast Wales, Northern Ireland and parts of Scotland. In other developments on Saturday, a man was rescued by police in Newquay after going into the sea in the early hours of Saturday morning. The Met Office issued a yellow warning of snow for Scotland and parts of Northern England on Saturday afternoon. Part of a cliff has collapsed into the sea on the East Sussex coast after being undermined by rough seas in Scotland. Falkirk Council warned of possible localised flooding in Grangemouth at high tide at around 17.15 GMT. The Thames barrier was closed earlier because of ongoing high flow, high tide conditions, according to the Environment Agency, but was due to reopen at 1700 hours GMT. BBC weather forecaster Laura Gilchrist said the weather was not out of the ordinary for the time of year, but warned it could cause disruption in areas still reeling from recent storms. The temperature would be colder than it had been of late, she added. David Cameron praised the agencies involved in dealing with the storm threat. The Prime Minister tweeted, Great work by emergency services and at Env Agency helping people flooded. 200,000 properties have been protected by flood defences in last 36 hours. Hundreds of homes were flooded on Friday as storms battered the UK's coastline. Residents in Chiswell and Portland in Dorset were evacuated ahead of high tide on Friday night while around 100 people in Aberystwyth, dived, were advised to move to higher ground. Around 90 properties are estimated to have flooded since Friday, bringing the total to around 220.